Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to wire in a Mitsubishi mini split heat pump unit. This is a single zone unit, and we have our whip from our disconnect over here with our three THHN wires, and then we're going to be using our south wire easy in, and that's going to be our power wire to the indoor unit and our communication cable for the indoor unit. The reason for that is you have a small section of this that's exposed outside and you have high voltage wires inside as well as your low voltage communication wire uh, heading into the indoor unit uh, and that needs to be shielded when it's outside and exposed like that. So now we're inside we have our south wire easy in cable brought in through the hole from the outside to the inside. Here we have our head unit and if you had a standard connector uh, then you'd have to take this off right here with unscrew this but we have a snap-in connector for the MC wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to strip this back roughly about one foot and we're going to use our snap-in MC connector. Now we're going to be using our roto split and we're going to position the blade at about one foot in. So that's right about here. So then I'm going to go ahead and squeeze this part and I'm going to rotate the handle. And what that's going to do is that's going to cut that metal outer jacket. Then after that what we need to do is we're going to cut the outer sleeve with a utility knife. So you can see right there where it was cut in at. We're going to cut right here, right in the middle with the utility knife, right around. Then you should just be able to turn this and it'll come right off. So there it is. Make sure to put your anti-short bushing around the wires and push that down into the MC wire so it's protecting the wires from getting cut with that metallic clad. Then what you're going to do is you're going to slide your snap-in connector all the way down and it's pushed in. So now that's tight. That won't come off. After that we're going to just slide these wires through. If you have any trouble you can just run a fish right through there and that will help you get all the wires out. You could also electrical tape them so that they you don't lose any of them but as you can see we have all four right here so now I'm going to go ahead and just snap this in and we're ready to go so right in here you can see the connectors you see S1 and S2 so that's your black wire your white wire and your red wire S1 and S2 are your power wires uh, and S3 that's your communication wire then you have your ground so that's why we have four wires and we're just going to match that color code so that nothing uh, gets mismatched with the outdoor unit. This is 14 gauge wire so we're just going to go ahead and put the 14, uh, 14 wire right into the number 14 hole in the wire strippers. If you use diagonal cutters on this it's possible to end up cutting some of the strands and we don't want that to happen. I'm going to cut the green one back a little further because we're going to have to curly cue it around there right where the uh, screw is. So the first one we're going to want to do is this ground wire right here. It's a stranded so you really want to twist it and it's going to go underneath of this plate and you're going to just sandwich it in between the, uh, the washer and the plate. Next is that black wire right here. So we just want to have this unscrewed. We're going to take that black wire and we're going to push it in between the two plates. And then as we tighten it, it's going to squish the wire in between the two plates and hold it. You want to test it, make sure you pull on it just to make sure that it's not going to come out. So I already loosened each of these each of these uh, screws right here. Also make sure I'm only sticking these in up to where the plastic is. You don't want to have the plastic under the plate because then that means that you're not making a good connection with the electrical wire. So once that's done we'll go ahead and put our plate back on. So you see our south wire easy in wire, our condensate line, and also our line set. 
So now we're going to go ahead and fish this right through the wall to the outdoor unit. So if you're looking for the Southwire Easy In uh, or the Outdoor Connector, I have them both linked down in the description section below. And we're going to put this anti-short bushing around the wire and that's going to go ahead and protect it against the MC. So, so that's just going to shield the wire from getting cut. In reference to this connector right here, if you look inside, it has this rubber right here that gets squished around the outer jacket and then you have this little piece of plastic right here that allows the metal to turn along the rubber without chafing the rubber. So you can just leave this connection together, keep it loose, and then we just go ahead and take our wire. We're going to go ahead and fish it through, just like that, very simple. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten this down. So you could do this in that location, but since it's a little crowded, I like to do it outside of there. So that's nice and tight. We'll go ahead and check it. All right, so it's not coming out. Make sure you take your ring off. And then this is gonna make your seal tight connection over here. Actually, what I wanna do is I wanna fish it behind this. We don't need a crazy amount of slack in here, just a little bit. The power is uh, not on with the breaker yet. We have the breaker off and also the outdoor disconnect off, so we're good right here. But always make sure to test your wires before you're hooking them in. So right here on the outdoor disconnect reading plate, it says max fuse, where it could say max breaker. This one says 20 amps. So that's why we have 12 gauge wire ran over here. This is stranded and it's connected to a 20 amp breaker inside. So we're going to slip these right into the number 12. Make sure you don't use uh, diagonal uh, pliers. Basically what that's going to do is it's going to rip some of these strands or cut them and you don't want that to happen. The wires heading into the indoor unit are 14 gauge. So let's go ahead and cut them to length. We're going to have our black wire, our white wire, our red wire right here. So you have our two power wires and then our communication wire. And then you're going to have, um, since the ground's already taken here, we're going to be using this ground over here with your indoor unit. Let's go ahead and wire our ground first because that's underneath all the rest of the wires. Take number 14 and we're going to give us a long length, just like that. We're also going to want to turn this a little bit more because we're going to be trying to curly cue it and put it underneath of that, that screw and washer over there. So now we're in between the plates and we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Doesn't matter uh, which of these two power wires goes in L1 and which one goes in L2. 
uh, because they're both 120 volt wires. So that does not matter. So you just want to make sure you're snug. Test each wire to make sure it doesn't come out. This is 14 gauge wire. So we're putting it into number 14 in our wire strippers. Same thing, just go ahead and back these screws out. You want to use stranded wires here so they're flexible. Make sure to not tighten onto the uh, plastic. Make sure the plastic only comes up to that part right there. We're going to tighten or check our electrical connections. Don't over tighten though. And that's good. So we're all wired in now and we are good to go. If you're looking for the supplies used in this video, I have them linked down in the description below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And if you want to see another HVAC training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.